Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Capricorns who are watching. So if you have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Capricorn, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, Capricorn, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado here, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started with your reading and your energy. Can we please receive a couple messages to begin with for my Capricorns? Who's this person making their way towards Capricorn, please? And how does this person truly really feel about Capricorn? What are their true feelings and emotions when it comes to Capricorn and their energy? One more message for now, please. Okay, Capricorn, so let's go ahead and officially begin. The very first message that came out is, you're on my mind. It's not fair to reach out to you because I'm not sure what I want. We also have, you're the only person I've loved like this. Of course, I'm serious about you. We've experienced different types of hurt. Don't say I didn't try. You're such a beautiful person. You're such a beautiful person. Love me right or lose me. Love me right or lose me. And we also have karmic, karmic cycle Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorn, I do feel like this is someone you already know, someone you may have history with. I know that that karmic cycle came out, so it could be a karmic, but for some of my Capricorns, I feel like this person isn't, if say this is a newer person for you, or you haven't had so much history with them, this person may be relying on a karmic cycle or comparing your energy to a karmic cycle even if you've shown nothing to replicate karmic energy here and that could be a, a barrier that is holding this person down from putting their best foot forward here because with karmic cycles it's it's a lengthy cycle and it could be filled with toxicity or low level, low vibrational energy, but you become so familiar with it. So it could be a hard cycle to break out of. So maybe someone was in a karmic cycle Capricorn or I, I feel like that's what it mostly is. This person was used to dealing with the karmic or maybe you Capricorn. But then again, for some of my Capricorns, maybe you would consider this a karmic cycle for yourself. So please only take what resonates. But karmic cycle um anyways capricorn let we'll return back to this to that card i do feel like with this person capricorn you've tried your best to take initiative pursue this person but you also take into consideration it's not all on you your love deserves to be reciprocated so i feel like if you feel like you're taking charge you're taking the lead you may be running out of momentum or fuel or motivation because of this person's actions or them not coming close to what you put into this connection. And, and not that you wanted to compare things, Capricorn, but thinking realistically for yourself and what you deserve here, it's like you can only do so much. And that's why um, compliments go, go a long way or validation or praise go a long way because we can lose sense of how good we do or the credit that we actually give into situations. So I feel like as far as reassurance here, you don't feel comforted by this person's side or from this person. So love me right or lose me, your energy Capricorn, 
I feel like you're not afraid to walk away, but it's not what you want to do. So love me right or lose me, you knowing the love that you deserve. And I also feel like we've experienced different types of hurt. Don't say I didn't try this being your energy Capricorn. You've tried your best to accommodate this person, understand them. I feel like when things got rocky the first time around, you didn't just call it quits because you had interest still or you had like interest or liking towards this person or for some like Capricorns it may have included love but we've experienced different types of hurt don't say I didn't try I tried my best but I can only do so much at the end of the day all right let's go ahead and get into you're such a beautiful person how this person feels about you but also a message for yourself Capricorn so you're such a beautiful person you're on my mind. It's not fair to reach out to you because I'm not sure what I want. I feel like this is this person's energy, Capricorn. I feel like when they come to you, you're there for them. You may be a bit weary or you, you don't just automatically do. You still decide on what you want to do. But I feel like if this person really needed something, even if it was just the person to be there, and of course, only take what resonates for you, Capricorn, as a, as a person, as yourself, Capricorn, you may extend your hand to them. But when it's vice versa when the roles are reversed it's like they pick and choose when they want to be there and i feel like they just don't make the effort as you do so you're on my mind it's not fair to reach out to you because i'm not sure what i want i feel like this person has stayed behind closed doors because they have kept you in limbo and it's not like you take them back every single time i feel like tension is within this connection so yeah this message capricorn and you're the only person I've loved like this. Of course, I'm serious about you. I do feel like this is this could be your energy. Even if this has not amounted to love, Capricorn, I feel like your efforts, you making time for this person, it's because you've been serious about them. You're not here to play games or waste your own time. So let's go ahead and get into our last couple messages. We have another message for Capricorn. What else might we need to know here? message please for Capricorn and we'll get started with what we have last it feels like you saved me at my worst I was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself I hide cancer could be a relevant placement does not have to be the case do you see me for who I am or what I can do for you and my love for you is just getting started my love for you is just getting started your energy Capricorn there's so much more to come, but trust and reciprocation is important here. But I feel like you you did a great amount for this person just by being their friend or just being a good person in their life, a stable person in their life, or even a real person in their life, Capricorn. Because I feel like even if this person, say they were disappointed about something what for whatever reason, um, I, I feel like they respected you because you stood for yourself you you didn't just fold for yourself you knew what you deserved so you didn't just go with any say anything say yes to anything so my love for you is just getting started there was more yet to come for this person if everything worked worked out between the both of you but i feel like you started to catch on to this person do you see me for who i am or what i can do for you even if their motive was genuine and I say that in the sense where some people want that change but they're not ready to make that change but once they make that change they will be a better person in your life so do you see me for who I am or what I can do for you are you just trying to get something out of me do you know that I'm a good person that I care about you but do you just plan on taking what you can and seeing how long this will last but I feel like you tried not to think that way about this person, Capricorn, because you felt like you saw their potential or you 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 knew a different side of them than they were portraying in that moment. It feels like you saved me at my worst. I feel like this person considers you a blessing, Capricorn. And even if things end up on bad terms, it, I, I feel like this person will have an appreciation for you or just crossing paths with you. And I was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself I hide. I feel like this is this person's energy. I feel like they view you and your love as top tier Capricorn, just elevation. And 
sometimes things that are good for us that we can visualize ourselves to be but we're not ready for that could be intimidation so i was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself i hide cancer also had this message so similar energy so cancer may be relevant but i feel like this person confronting you in this connection capricorn it was a lot because it was the real deal so they may have took the easy way out by backing away last but not least capricorn we'll see what signs may be relevant for you could be done with another capricorn Scorpio, Capricorn, Scorpio, Virgo, one more sign please, and Leo, so Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, but Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today, as always, I appreciate the love and support, please like, comment, and subscribe, also, Cancer's reading will be posted shortly after yours, but I will talk to you all next time, bye.